So I just saw a user request and wanted to address it because it discusses a new type of tool that a lot of people are unfamiliar with, but it works in this instance and it's exactly what the user was looking for. So let's just look at this model a little more closely. So if I go to inspect and then section analysis, let's break it on down on the XZ plane. So here's the question. He wants to fill this all up in the bottom and was asking, how can I easily fill this up? Well, here is the method. So what we're going to do is create an offset plane. And I'm just going to bring this up to whatever area or whatever level uh, this needs to be filled in. Once we go OK, we can simply go Create and then Boundary Fill, Boundary Fill. So this is great. We're going to select the tools. We can select this body and then we can select this plane as well. When we do so, there are two cells that we can select and select this one or the outside one. So this inside one simply picks the volume on the inside. I can just go OK. And there we've got this volume now. Or what we could have done, I'm just going to delete that boundary fill and go back to boundary fill. Do the same thing. Select this body, select the plane, and then select the inside cell. And what this does is it selects all of the profiles, including the outside geometry. So the previous one selected the inside, this selects the outside and I can hide body to just to prove it. And that does that right there. So what is the correct one that we'd like to pick? Well, I'm going to delete that boundary fill right there. Go back to boundary fill, do it one more time. Select this plane, Oop. select tool, select that plane and then select the inside one. Once we have that, we can simply go to combine. We can pick our target body. We can select our tool body, which is body five, and make sure they are joined together. So hopefully that helps answer that question for the user and helps to teach you a new skill. Boundary fill can be very easy for many different types of applications in Fusion. If you have an application that you like to use boundary fill in, drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you've benefited from this tutorial, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for tuning into the Learn It channel and hope to see you at the next tutorial. Take care.